Hi everybody, I'm Ed Zenis, my wife Suzanne. We're at the Latvian Song and Dance Festival 2019 in Toronto. And uh, today, thousands of Latvians have converged on Toronto. They've gathered from all over the world to, to come and share in the common bond that's kept Latvians and Latvia together as Latvians from all over the world, friends of my late father, Eric Zenis, and the idea was that they wanted to see his paintings, and this could possibly be one of the last occasions when they're all seen together. So we packed him up and brought them here uh, to the convention center, and we're making them available uh, for viewing for anybody who wants to see him, that's in, in the process right now. Wow. Sorry, I'll get out of your way. There no, it's all good, yeah. No worries. Yeah. This one in particular. Look at that one. Gorgeous. Yeah. You know, uh, we're a sponsor of the National Ballet, and we have been for years. We're at uh, Hilton Toronto. Just beautiful. Oh, yeah. Like, Gorgeous. This one's in particular. Look how pretty she looks. Oh, Everything's I know. It's beautiful. Look at her. She right. looks the same. Like, she looks the exact same to this day. Yeah. Please. So he would do these sketches and these American uh, generals and military people would see that he had uh, talent. He, he did MacArthur, Eisenhower, um, uh, sitting president uh, at the time. And uh, next thing you know, he got uh, uh, accepted coming to Canada. And I referred to it uh, throughout the whole process as the mechanism of God, uh, or this timetable by coincidence that amazing things happen. So he ended up as a, um, an illustrator at TDF Artists Limited. The three partners, they started up what was to become Canada's most famous production studio. And I, I grew up like watching his, uh, um, watching him evolve at TDF where he became one of the leading illustrators all over the world. And whenever they had uh, uh, important things like cars back then we didn't have Photoshop an artist would have to mechanically cut a car apart spread it apart to make it visually correct and then airbrush everything in so he did that from nine to five uh, uh, in all the famous logos Laura Secord the Jolly Green Giant Mama Bravo um, everybody he, he did all that at TDF uh, for years but on the weekend his passion was genuine art, and in particular, um, ballet. Uh, and so the next thing, it was 1957, uh, the National Ballet at the time, uh, Betty Oliphant and Celia Frank uh, called up uh, TDF one day and said, could you send a photographer over and do some promotional stuff for our first anniversary of the school, cool. whatever it was. So anyways, TDF sends Eric over with his Leica uh, M2, and, and there you go. And so began a 35-year relationship with all the characters and all these paintings around me. Uh, Karen Kane, uh, Linda Maberduke, Alguire, Vanessa, uh, Veronica, Nadia, we're, we're the core group. And, and he got to know them on a personal level. He, he photographed them, he did sketches for them, he did portraits for them and their parents. And they became very dear friends for, for many years. So by the time Rudolph Nureyev defected from the Soviet Union and em embraced the National Ballet of Canada, and turned them into his protégés. Uh, it was, a, it was a, I refer, and that's going to be done through our very dear friend, Linda Maberduke Alguire, whom uh, hopefully will be sitting in this chair tomorrow talking to Suzanne and myself about her relationship. And I'm going, all right, well, I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna sit back and let this story unfold and let Linda take the lead, and, and, and she's done that. So she's very carefully gone through 50,000, and what is hopefully is going to unfold here, we're gonna look back in those moments 
and we're going to visit many of the people that are alive today and they're going to speak to those moments so and and finding out who the artist was who the man was he was uh, a, a, a complicated energetic man uh, damaged certainly by uh, World War II, post-traumatic stress disorder, as, as, as everybody was, but he was determined to make the best of it. And, and he did, you know, here he is four years after his death, and we're doing the Eric Dennis Art Legacy Project to establish his relevance and his importance in history, if any. So many of the, the volunteers have come forward. Uh, Linda said, no, no, we can't let him slide into history. I know nobody will ever uh, take up the cause, so let's do it now. So. Cool. so let me begin by telling you about what your father means to us and my generation and another generation behind us. We came in, I came in from Florida in 1965 to the National Ballet School. There were a couple of other Americans in the school. It was a very new school, seven years old at that point. And um, right away, I was aware of your father in the studio, and he was like, as I keep saying, and I've said to you before, he was like the ghost in the room. He didn't make himself obvious. Um, after a while, you didn't even remember what days he was there, and when he wasn't, when he wasn't there either, as he photographed you or as he drew you. And he captured for my generation, and then later, as I say, it's another generation, um, our lives from when we were in the National Ballet School as we joined the company and through those years as we you know, went up the ranks and danced more with some of the greatest dancers of our time, such as Nureyev and Barishnikov and others. And, and, and so it's a record of us that you have to understand when we were dancing, we didn't have cell phones and we didn't, and there were all kinds of rules by the stagehands and the musicians about what could be filmed and what couldn't be filmed. And your father had to obey them too. In the dress rehearsals he could film us, but not in live performances, very rarely. Right. So the record that your father left for us in photos and pencil drawings and paintings, we don't have a lot from our generation, and yet we have it permanently with your father. You sent her, and you know, we knew he had been in the studio with us, and then we'd come in and we'd go, oh my goodness, let me look at these beautiful Right, paintings. especially the pastels. Oh, the pastels. But the, but the pencil drawings and the right. photographs. And let me tell you, in some ways, those pencil drawings... My favorite stuff. ...are maybe mine, too. Well, they're better. Because they just... I keep saying how he captured moments. Oh, I do. Yeah. I remember some of them, too. That one I remember. Oh, gee. It's beautiful. And I even brought his... Uh, his box that he brought yeah. his life over here from Latvia. That's right. As, I've seen uh, the box. As an immigrant, and uh, this is his. This is his easel, I believe. Yeah, that he painted all these paintings on. And I have the easel, and I have his ring, and okay. uh, the sketches and everything. And so we we all of a sudden found out we could attend the the Latvian Song Festival. And and so he obviously it, loved ballet so much, you can see that's well, where his energy like he, went. He so spent 30, ballet loved him, yeah, he spent all of them, Karen yeah, Kane. Yeah, he spent 35 years immersing himself into the lives of all these people. I don't think there was anybody allowed to get as near to the ballet. Okay, Carl Sakenbaum. Carl Sakenbaum? Sakenbaum. Sakenbaum. Okay, yeah, well, Latvian um, space, Latvian space, Latvian space, Canada. Well, Latvian ambassador to Canada. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. It's asking me to see him. I'm his wife. So, Inara. Suzanne. Suzanne. Wow. Oh, so, Suzanne. Like a ballet dancer yourself. For 14 years. Way back. Okay. That's how we met. Oh, I see. Through Eric, yeah. So, you're the Canadian ambassador? Latvian ambassador to Canada. You know, Eric's done this art legacy project. We don't want his work to be lost. Yeah, yeah. We're good home. We were talking about the ballet. Okay. Uh, how it was uh, saved, the pictures. Uh, oh, 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 to... yes. Well, um, I, I allude to the mechanism of God a lot, you know, like the coincidences in life and how they happen. So somehow, you know, my father was a Latvian immigrant. 
Okay, and like... Uh, but the, all these pieces are only about the yeah? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no they, this is 57. He was a commercial illustrator, and they, they got a call go over to the National Ballet and take some pictures. So he met Betty Oliphant, C Celia Franca, and that began the relationship. So he brought his Latvian artistry to the ballet, and then proceeded to have a 35-year relationship with, with everybody. When Karen Kane was this big, and all, oh yes, oh yeah, and and because of the union rules in Canada and everywhere, there was no pictures or video allowed throughout their entire careers. I'm doing this project here, Janet's legacy project, to establish his position in history. Um, right, I, and so... That's another Latvian too. Oh yeah, Maris Lepa. Maris Lepa, I know him as well. And I was a small boy. Me too. <laughs> Me too. He's too. But he he relatively passed age. away relatively early. Oh, yeah. Honestly, but it was still your neighbor, Dan. There, there is some work, so a bunch of them, and I'm, it's going to be in the book and the documentary. But there's a few, there's a, his documentary. I will dance until the hundred years. It's called. Uh, yeah, about uh, what he's telling about his life and oh. relationship. Yeah, so it it sounds very simple, but that made a very very big impression on me. Um, that you know we must dance with emotion and um, and and not as a robot um, with without emotion. And he gives the secret of how Balanchine choreographed. He would listen to the entire piece of music. And he would find the highlight, the climax. We knew how lucky we were at the time. Is this Suzanne Zenis? Yeah, that's when I first met him. Yeah, he was, they, okay, he so was he actually assigned to take pictures of me. He was mm -hmm. assigned by the school, by the ballet school. And so the original pictures of me holding my Latin book and my books was grade 12 in, you know, in my uniform. original uniform. That's and that right. was even before you joined the company, before right? You were I just a student. S I was just a student. I was in grade. I never knew before, which is, yeah, is great. I He's a gentle, have, quiet person. I, yeah. You know, I, uh, the whole time I, I knew him, yeah, he was always I like know, that. I know. But then there's another side of him, too. I, he loved water skiing. He just sundown, and he was off and doing it. And but that's interesting because we didn't know him. No, I like knew that. surprised too. Yes. He, you know, he uh, parachuted. And too. Vanessa can yeah. tell you she knows people who sat on the hospital boards. Talk about that, and he did the portraits, of her, right? Oh, that's right. He mm -hmm. did the portraits of. That's right. I think he did at King's actually. A lot of the portraits for the hospital CEOs or. Um, Oh, we did board about members. 40 of them for the Princess yeah. Margaret. Yeah. Yeah, and we actually and would go across the street and, and film some of them, too. And I only learned of that later. Yeah. Like I didn't realize that. It's like a compartment for Yeah, his different right. lives. Right. Oh, oh.